Okay, here's our GMP furnace with the heat exchanger removed. Uh, now if you look at this, you can see there's been no overheat here. This is where the burners come in here and it goes up like this and out the vent. Uh, it hasn't been overheated so it was fired at about the correct firing rate. But I'm going to show you what happens to these heat exchangers and what part breaks. Now here's a normal uh, rivet on heat exchanger. This is uh, flattened out over here and there's a lip all the way around. And let's look at the ones that have failed. Now if you look closely you'll see on this one the rings missing. Now here's the ring they pop off and they drop down. Most of the time they drop into the blower. Uh, sometimes they'll drop into a blower shelf and you'll find them there. But they pop off. Now let's look at the rest of this heat exchanger. There's another one that's popped off there. Now that's a left hand one that we noticed we were having so much trouble with. So those two have popped off there Okay, I've spread this heat exchanger apart a little bit just to show something else. If you look real close right there as I zoom in, you see right there, that's a crack. If you drag a screwdriver over it, it just barely catches. It. It's not big enough to cause uh, a CO danger, but it is a crack in the heat exchanger. It's going to get longer. So you can't weld these things or anything like that. You just got to throw them away. So in total I found uh, three rings that had fallen off of this thing. And uh, I found four missing rings on the heat exchanger. Both of them were the low down ones close to where the burners come in, they're the ones that get hottest and so they probably expanded and crack, contracted enough that they just popped loose. Uh, I'm going to give you another little trick on how to determine whether these things have a broken heat exchanger and it's a real simple one. What I would oftentimes do, now I've put those three rings laying on that blower shelf right there, the heat exchanger is normally right in uh, right in here uh, and a lot of times they'll drop right there on that blower shelf sometimes they drop, drop in the blower behind it but they commonly drop to there and if you take a hammer and I'm going to hit the side of this with a hammer uh, and you can hear those rings bounce in there when you hit it with a hammer You'll probably just see it in the burners anyway, but it was a little thing I used to do sometimes just to make sure. And that's a GMP heat exchanger. If you come on to one, look at it very close because it probably has failed, uh, you, but you just got to watch those burners.